In this video, I'm going to go over five common mistakes that people make when rebuilding an HX35 turbo or HX40 turbo, and I'm going to show you how to avoid those. One of the most common mistakes is installing this incorrectly. This piece, when installed, needs to sit lower than the top of this face right here. If it does not sit lower than that, then it's going to touch up on the thrust bearing, and this is going to be kinked to one side. Often the C-clip won't go in there. Sometimes it will, and if it does go in there, then usually the problem you'll have after that is it will still be kinked to one side. When you tighten the compressor nut down, the turbo will usually be locked up. I had one case where somebody pressed this down in there, it didn't go all the way in. He put it inside the bearing housing, put the C-clip in, but he didn't notice the C-clip was not or the snap ring was not locked into place, so it was not in the groove. So he put the whole truck back together. It did not have any issues binding or anything because it was not pressed all the way down. So it was actually sitting straight. It just wasn't all the way down. It wasn't fastened in place. And this piece completely popped out and destroyed the whole entire turbo. I was pretty lenient on that guy. I know he wanted, uh, he expected me to warranty that. Typically, I try not to warranty stuff like that, especially since I didn't do the assembly. I ended up just doing the whole entire build for free and sending him the turbo. I'll push on the corners to snap it in there. And if it's still not down all the way, then you could take, take a hammer and tap the end of the screwdriver and just make sure it's seated seating all the way down. This is what it should look like. It's very common for people to install this incorrectly. The way that they mess this up is they try to put it on like, uh, I guess they try and put it on like this and they bend it somehow. Or they'll try and put one side on first. So they'll put one side of the gap on and then try and work it all the way around and then they bend the piston ring seal. I have a good example of one that I just got back recently where somebody had bent that. So you see it's got a bend in it right there. They put this turbo together and this actually had multiple assembly problems that this guy, he bought all the parts for me then he sent it to a shop to to do the build. So the way to install this is you identify where the gap is and you're just going to push out, push the piston ring seal down over the shaft just like that. And if you want to remove it, you have to spread the gap to be able to open it up so you can remove it evenly. So the gap is spread evenly and it's properly removed. One of the next common things that people do is with the bearing housing. So this collar get, goes face down like that. But I've seen people where they flipped it around and put it in like that. And that causes a bunch of problems. The shaft won't go in far enough like it's supposed to. So I had one guy that did this combination. He put it down like that. And then he took the shaft and put it through the bearing housing and it wouldn't go any farther because that piece is stopping it from going in. So then he just kept on cramming it into the bearing housing and damaged the bearing housing really bad. And he also damaged the shaft really bad. So I ended up having to replace all those parts. He ended up just uh, letting me do the rebuild on that. It goes like this. Then the thrust bearing. Then you put the... Uh, you put the collar and seal in, th in this piece, and then this piece lays down, and then the C-clip goes over top of that. The next thing that's really common that people do when they mess up is putting the snap ring inside the compressor housing. I'll show you the way to do it and the way not to do it. I'm going to put the bearing housing down, make sure it's pressed all the way into the compressor housing. If you are using an O-ring like we... If you buy a compressor housing and a bearing housing, then we O-ring the bearing housing for that compressor housing. So you want to put the O-ring on the groove. I've had some people 
put the o-ring on this part of the bearing housing but it, they didn't buy a machine bearing housing for me so it won't it won't work like that if you're doing that you're trying to cram the o-ring into the compressor housing and if you do that then the bearing housing will never sit as low as it's supposed to which means this clip is not going to go in there either and it's going to pop out this compressor housing is one that was returned because they did not install this snap ring correctly here's what it looks like when the compressor housing comes off see it's got that gouge in there it so it ruined the compressor wheel possibly the turbine wheel and it also ruined the compressor housing but i'm going to machine this to a different compressor wheel so i can reuse it here's how you install this part correctly It's not correctly installed right now. So I'll show you what you need to do. You need to compress the ends of the clip and you go all the way around the bearing housing to fully seat it into place. 